So how did you go to the puppy interview? Well, I guess the main thing would be to start as early as you can. So what I did was I started doing some more simple kind of step one questions to get into the whole swing of, of getting into that. Because the university interview questions are going to be very different from what you've done A-level. It's going to be stuff you know really in like unfamiliar situations. So I found doing step questions and like mass channels questions quite useful. Do any of you do that? Yeah. I also found that when I was doing the step questions, I was talking out loud to myself. Like yeah. I was talking oh, while yeah, I was yeah. doing the step questions. So that was some advice I got, was just like, whenever you do a maths problem, just like, talk, yeah. like, when you're doing it, to get used to, like, talking in an interview, mm -hmm. like, yeah. with an interview, so. Yeah, it's, it's also really important just to make sure you understand everything they know you've done, because they can ask you about anything that you've studied during the interview, yeah. and therefore you just want to know all of that really well. Like, you need to understand it well enough that you can solve problems with it, because they will want to test your problem-solving ability. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like anything else you write on your personal statement as well that you say you've done. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Books you've read. Definitely yeah, do don't that. say you've read a book you haven't read. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Yeah, but also make sure that you actually know exactly everything that was on your personal statement. Because a lot of like a lot of the time they say the personal statement doesn't matter for a maths interview until they ask you about it. I had, like, I had a line by line analysis. Yeah. And I I mean I wasn't prepared for that one. They asked me a derivation. Yeah, yeah, make sure you know everything. So make sure you know, it, it makes a big difference. But if you don't know, always be prepared to say something else. So I couldn't remember, but I was like, I remember the original one, so I can derive it for you if you want. And then I sat there and derived it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah. I think having a topic in mind that you might want to talk about is quite useful as well. I don't know if you got interviewed by the same guy as me, but I was asked to, he, he walked in and he goes to me, so what do you want to talk about? And I was, I was like, I don't know. So I, I just went calculus, and then the whole interview was based around calculus. So like, if I'd chosen something spontaneously that I hadn't been prepared for, it would have messed up yeah. my entire interview. So yeah. make sure you have something you might want to talk about, might want to go into. I'm saying, like, for what, because I, when I went in, so um, my interview was like, what have you been reading recently? And then based on that, he made up a question there and there. Yeah. So, like, it's really important you, you, you have what you've read before or what you want to talk about. Because you, you can shape your own interview kind of, yeah, and oh, they allow you to. Completely. I mean, one risk, one thing you'll be careful with that is some people go into them with topics in mind that are too advanced. So some person I'm speaking to is like, oh, my, my topic I want to talk about is black holes or quantum field theory. I'm like, That's kind of stuff you're studying in third or fourth year. Yeah. You don't want to be trying to get them to talk about that in a first year interview because you're not going to have the, you can't talk about it. So yeah, it's, it's, it's not a good idea when these people are experts Ex in their field. Exactly. You know, yes. they'll, know, they'll just know that you're... You're talking nonsense, really, probably, if you try something too complicated. Yeah. It's like, don't try and impress them, yeah. actually be honest. And they don't expect you to know this stuff, right? It's yeah. No, 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 stuff. no. They don't expect you to know yeah. it, so... Yeah, like, I, I mean, I said something really simple, because the day before I've been reading about patterns, I said I've been reading about patterns, and it happened to be like that, like, that's what it ended up Yeah, with. yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be complicated at all. Yeah, I think for Oxford it's a bit different, so... I think the interviewers just ask us the same questions, like, each person, or at least at my college. Yeah, I had one of those like that. We had one where it's just all set questions. Yeah, so yeah. One of them was definitely like, what do you want to talk about? And then they did eventually make it based on what they wanted to ask. But they started off, we don't thought we wanted to. Yeah, and on the topic of that, I would probably, it might be good advice to research kind of past questions and ask people. Yeah. They, they mm -hmm. won't necessarily repeat them, but it's good to get an idea of how what kind of questions they are, they're asking. Has, I appreciate yeah. offer some model answers to yeah. how you would, well, how they want you to answer it. And that can be good practice to look Yeah, at. well, yeah, in my interview, there's actually one question that I've seen before. So yeah. it does help to look it up. Because if that happens, uh, it's quite good for you because they, they won't know that you've seen it before. Yeah. <laughs> so you can be a bit sneaky. Yeah, I, I had <laughs> that slowly. as well. Yeah. And then it's like, I was like, oh, yeah, but this, like, you don't have any, like, because it, it goes to infinity at this point. So I can't really draw this. And it's like, you know, you're talking about it, but yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. it seems we don't really. Yeah, and on that note, make sure you try and get some practice interviews in as much as possible. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, practice interviews with teachers or with your friends, just talking yeah. about maths to people. Like, as much as they don't want to listen, just talk at them. Talk yeah, also, at being them. able to explain what you're doing as yeah. well as important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, actually, in talking about explaining what you're doing, sometimes they're asking you what is the answer or how would you do this. And if you're not sure how to do it, but you know how not to do it, it's good to talk about that. Because, like, in my interview, they said that. Oh, I was like, I'm not sure how to do it, but I know what it's not. And they said, well, okay, talk about that. Right. And that's really good because then they know what you're thinking about. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Just, yeah, they get the reasoning behind why you eliminated that answer. Yeah, just like any ideas that you might have, just like yeah. talk to them. Even if you're not sure if it's the right way to do it, like it's okay to ask them, you know.
know, is it like, do I do it like this? So can I go about it this way? Yeah. Is this better than just like sitting in silence? That's true. Like I asked, can I, can I be pre-find action for this? And they were like, yeah, I'm good for it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's okay to ask for help as well. Like in my first interview, like you like asked me the question, and I was like, um, I don't really know how to do this. Can I have some help? And it's like, yeah, of course. Like I wouldn't expect you to know how to do it. So. Yeah. 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 Or like, or, or don't, or don't, don't, don't kick yourself if you can't do something. Because like, I remember my first thing. I was meant to differentiate. I'm pretty sure I integrated. So I got it half mm -hmm. differentiated, half integrated. Yeah. And he was like. Are you sure you've done the right thing? And I was kicking myself, but then like if you, I let that ruin the whole thing, it wouldn't have been good. So like just yeah. just just let it go. Like, oh, that's so it. true. Like yeah. staying calm. I, I thought how to factorize x squared plus two because around around my head you yeah. can't copy some of those are actually a thing. And so just use, but like they, but I still got in. So it's kind of you can yeah. do stuff like that and it can still be fine. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. like when I was doing the you know the derivation thing that I had to do, they were like, oh well, you could have done it like this. It would have made it easier. And so instead of just being like, okay, I was like, oh, well, do you want me to try it like that? And then, I mean, A, that used a bit more of my interview time, so it was great. But like also, you know, it meant that I was actually willing yeah, to do yeah, what yeah. they showed me, so. Yeah. Um, I also say, depending on what college you apply to, you've got to be aware of what they're actually going to do at the interview. Because some colleges do extra tests around the interview. Like my mm -hmm. friend had that, he was, he was surprised, so he hadn't looked it up, he wasn't aware, it was kind of, yeah. and you need to be known, like, especially Trinity, for example, they're going to, at Cambridge, they're going to be giving you an interview test on top of the interview. So just be aware of what what's actually going to come up. And have a look at them, because I tried, I mean, I tried to do some of their past papers, they're quite hard. Oh, they're very so hard. You need, so you need to know what you're getting into before you do it. Yeah, yeah. And that might also affect where you apply. Like, I applied to, well, we applied to Salwood because I knew they didn't have an interview test. Yeah, class. yeah, like, yeah. It was, and well, some of them have reading as well. Like, they give you extracts to read before you interview. So make sure, like, you're aware of what they want to. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm aware, as Oxford, they because you've already done the maths, they don't have any extra um, tests or anything like that before the interview. So. Also, know know what your interviewer is a specialist. Yeah, that's a good idea. Don't try and add like an expert on something that they're an expert on because oh, that's yeah, going to yeah, go yeah. wrong. You're not even just that. So my my interview was an expert on like uh, computer and numerical analysis, and at the end of the interview, I had about ten minutes left, nothing really to do because we kind of gone through the topic that I wanted. Do it characters. So she made up a question related to computer science on her topic of research. It was completely alien to me, but like I knew that was her field, so it didn't take her like, a complete surprise. So it's useful to know what their kind of things they look into, what they're interested in. Because they're going to ask you questions that they want to ask you that they find interesting. Because they, they, they're doing some interviews a day, they want to be a bit stimulated, what they're doing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely.